Like, who the fuck's ever been scarier than Rumble? Nobody. Ostermeyer. Pretty goddamn close right <laughs> now. Right? Interesting cat, man. Interesting cat. Number three, was he three in the world? Yeah, he knocked out Sir Kunoff, right? He knocked out Misha. And then just murks, murks Jimmy Manoa. And did, like walked through him and, and called it too. He's like, I'm gonna knock him out in the first minute. They don't see the they don't see the success coming and they're like, okay. Like what? Or you're trying, trying, trying to be perfect and every time they're like, oh I just I failed. Like, oh I just failed. Oh I got taken down, I just failed. No, you didn't fail. You actually won that round, but you yeah. felt like you failed because you weren't perfect. And then you you, you feel bad about yourself or you oh, don't wanna you know yeah. yeah. And, and, go do it. Jesus Christ. and Jimmy didn't even land anything. Like inside this clinch, he catches him with that hard left hook. He's, he's got hammers for fists too, bro. Take a picture. <laughs> Man, I, I've, uh, I've been the victim or guilty of having too big of an ego at times, and we all do. We're human beings. You have a little success, you think you know everything, you think you know, you think you know how to be dominant on the ground. You think you know how to be dominant on the feet, but as soon as you feel like you can come in here and you know better more than these coaches, you know more than these accomplished training partners, as soon as you get that little bit of ego, that little bit of pride, the next is the fall. I like to give them my way out this way. Stand up. Excellent. Right? So how did you, how, what grip do you like to use? Like this? Exactly. Okay, okay. Exactly. Because here, most likely, most likely he's gonna attack, but let's say when he goes there, when he does that, you follow his motion. So you're gonna end up here. Yeah. Like bam, he's not calculated. Bam. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. he's not calculated like a John or you know like a JDS where he's sitting back. Well, he's guys. got confidence in his he's power coming. for sure. The not dude has brick hands too. You ever shake his hand? No. Uh, it's pretty fun, you know. Uh, some mornings I come down, eat breakfast, and there's a whole camera crew, and it's just crazy, you know. My first day coming in here, I'm like. That's Vulcan, that's Rockhold, that's Michael Chandler, all these guys. It's just been kind of crazy and Henry helping me out, everybody, but it's been it's been quite an experience, you know, and just seeing the day-to-day -day activities of like the best in the world. It's the best. It's like we have a great staff of coach around and a great sparring partners. I got Rashad helping me today, a former champion. And when you have people like that pushing you and uh, teaching you stuff, you know, it's a uh, it's a constant grind. You 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 learn every day, and uh, it's it's amazing to be surrounded by those people. The process is the goal. Yeah, yeah. Loving the process. It's all, it's all about what you get in the end, right? Yeah. Only one day counts, right? One day, exactly. Yeah. Fight night. It's all that matters. That motherfucker might be champion of the world, just 70 Twitter followers. Just fucking <laughs> light heavyweight champion of the world. Just, UFC's like, fuck! <laughs> fuck! <laughs>